How do you feel about the idea of fully autonomous robots? One that could grow, heal, have a digestive system, maybe perform photosynthesis, and even eat? Well, that's an active concept that's been going on for about 25 years. With new advancements in radioactive batteries that could potentially last 5,000 years or more, that's becoming a real possibility. You can actually take carbon-14, unstable carbon that's a byproduct from nuclear facilities, and turn it into something useful. That beta decay can be used to create energy, and it was considered a limitation that these just can't make all that much energy, so the batteries could end up being a fail-safe in things like your cell phone. Or the cartridges from your Game Boy in the 90s? Imagine the battery that would last forever. Maybe even outlast humanity. What researchers have created is a hybrid system. So it has the carbon-14 system, but it also charges what is more of a typical battery. This could also be used to create a hybrid in which you could plug it in if you needed a lot of power, but otherwise it would work fine. That could easily be combined with a robot that has metabolism, one that can digest food, and that also plays nicely with biological robots, biohybrids. As you know, we can take something like brain organoids, the tiny human brains grown from stem cells, and put them in a spider robot. But those brain organoids are still going to need to use energy. So if you had actual food being processed, that could help charge the batteries, and it could also provide living tissue with the sugar it needs. But why stop there? You could have something that performs photosynthesis. You may know this, but plants have both mitochondria and chloroplasts. That means they both break down sugar, but also use the sun to build sugar. It is a far more efficient system than ours, but in part that's because plants don't do a whole lot. And some plants do eat. There are carnivorous plants out there if they really want to get more energy. Imagine a carbon-14 hybrid battery. It would be charged just by existing in the beta decay from the carbon. Then we have another system that takes light from the sun and turns that into energy to help charge it so it can move more efficiently. You could also have it actually eat stuff. By the way, biocells are extremely valuable for what they could do with waste. We don't have to just toss it in a landfill. It could be degraded into power. And another really cool way to utilize this is swarming robots. Researchers have programmed the behavior into tiny robots to behave like ants or bees. They're utilizing systems that behave near randomly. Ants and bees do not have a thought about what they're building, they just build. And as they work together with swarming behaviors, it becomes something structured and extremely stable. You can program little robots to do just that, but charging them is a problem. With a carbon-14 battery, it could allow them to do their work and then rest when they need to charge, maybe even recharge at a station, not unlike bees going back to their hive, and then continue their task. They could be entirely independent of us repairing them. That is especially possible when we think of the magnetic nanobots and other technology that allow self-healing materials. Independent, bee swarms, building things, or rebelling against humanity. Who really knows? It sounds like it might not be a good idea if they get hacked, but it is really cool technology.